welcome back. We're going to do the uh, Helden Hammer assembly in this video. Okay, so to start off, we're going to find so it's every part marked with J. So that's. I believe that's right. So that's going to be the base. And let's see here. Okay, so we need the two sides. Second side. Let's make sure I don't clip everything off. It's important. Okay, here's a. This is the poop deck. <clears throat> they actually, uh, in the book, I've noticed that they have a glossary of terms for all the different ships to help you uh, understand what they're talking about. Port and stern and aft. And or starboard, whatever. Okay, so um, one more piece for the uh, stage one assembly. And it's this one right here. So these are all marked by letters. And then the assembly instructions are on the side of the box. So I'm just gonna clean off any of the leftover sprue. Okay. And these should go together quite nicely. So I'm not going to glue anything uh, in this tutorial because I'm probably going to pull it all apart to paint it. But uh, there's a couple of different ways you can do that. You can glue it ahead of time. Um, with the, the snap fit type stuff, this Tamiya extra thin cement works quite well. What you can do is you put it all together and then you just dab a little bit and then the uh, capillary action will pull it right into the joints. So if you want to assemble everything, then paint it. That's, uh, that's one option, that makes sure you don't get any extra glue anywhere. Um, obviously you can use normal uh, testers glue in a tube, or I have just regular Tamiya liquid glue, and of course Games Workshop has theirs, and lots of different options, so. I just find uh, the, the, the Tamiya Extra Thin is probably the cleanest. Now it's not the strongest, because you're not putting as much glue on there, but uh, that's maybe that's why my a lot of my models break. Um, actually, a lot of my first models I painted them, then glued them together, and of course, glue doesn't plastic glue doesn't work through paint, so that caused a bit of problems. So I had to super glue things then, which I didn't do. I tried to scrape some of the paint off, that didn't work. Oh, well, those pegs just broke. That's not good. Good, but it's not going to be a problem. Okay. Not really any mold lines to clean up on this. A little bit up there. In front of this, apparently, this is a steam powered hammer. Workshops jumping on the steampunk bandwagon. Although, I guess they've always had that, the Empire with their steam tank. So, okay, I think that's 
last little bits of the sprue. So they are saying this goes goes there. Okay, that kind of press fits in like that. Maybe I'll put this in here first. That's gonna go in there. You know what, I might just glue this all together now that I see how it's gonna go. glue it to the base just yet. a bit more on after. Get a nice even coat everywhere. It should be nice and strong. Probably should have dry fit everything first to make sure it all will go together, but I have confidence that Games Workshop knows what they're doing. together. A little bit of pressure, not too much, and uh, looks like a really nice tight fit. So good, it all worked out. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a touch of glue there and it'll so I'd hold it together for a little bit. And uh, that'll be a good solid joint. Nice and snug. And you can see I'm just uh, dabbing the glue along the edges there, and holding it tight for a couple seconds. And that won't leave any uh, remnants behind. gaps showing. See any? And that will go on there like that. Make sure that focus. Okay, now the next stage I need. Uh, okay, so J. There's a J.
really careful with these not to clip off any part that I'm going to need. There's that. And here's those sails. Okay, so. Okay, so I'm just missing. Oh no, that's everything actually. That's all the ship. Okay, so let's clean these up and I'll press these together just to show you how it will go, but I'm not going to glue that. So, not really much of a mold line there, but uh, just want to make sure it's all cleaned up because fine detail on this you'll you'll notice even the smallest well I'll notice the smallest little bit and that'll bother me so just make sure everything will fit together nicely. Okay, so there's those two, last mast here. probably clean these up a little bit more when I have more time. I'm just trying to do this reasonably quickly for the video. Um, yeah, okay, so let's just try together. Okay, so the looks like the biggest one goes here and the bigger sail will go on that. Of course your flags point forward because that's the direction the wind's going. That's a nice tight fit there. Let me see. I'll be really careful when I pull that apart. That's a pretty tight fit. I'm not going to push it too far in there. And same with this one here. It's going to be tight. So these sails are. Um, snapped on me so I'll have to glue that. So yeah, you gotta be careful with the sails. I wouldn't say that they're particularly fragile, but uh, they're not maybe as durable as uh, uh, as your, the rest of your 28mm scale stuff. 
So I'm gonna have to see there, this little, where's it, that popped off. So I'll just, that'll glue together no problem. But just a note to be careful. And uh, let's see, this is probably gonna go that. impressive looking ship and I imagine you could um, you know add some little wires or something there to add a little bit more fine detail actually I might even try to do that see if I can figure out where that would attach to to make it make sense um, or maybe it doesn't maybe just for show anyways there's the uh, assembly of the Empire ship the Heldenhammer and uh, I'll be walking through probably the rest of them. Let me know if, what you think, comments below, and uh, at some point I'll be painting these up. Thanks for tuning in, see you next time.